You guys want to know my worst loss in Yu-Gi-Oh? It's like my worst loss in Yu-Gi-Oh. My worst loss. I showed up to a regional. Listen up, this is story time. Listen up. I showed up to a regional. I was well prepared for this regional. I was going to uh, I was I was going to uh, to to get my invite at least. That's uh, that was the goal. You know, I, I, I didn't have uh, big plans for it or anything because uh, it's whatever, right? As far as I'm concerned, regionals, um, I stopped putting as much effort into them as I once did a long time ago. So I'm just, uh, boy's just trying to get his invite, okay? Last last season. I'm just trying to get my invite. Um, so I walk up with my DDD deck. This was when, just before Zoo was released, so DDD was relevant for a grand total of for a month, two weeks. Something like that. DD was relevant for a very small integral period in between uh, something in zoo format, okay? So we were almost there. I showed up with DDD. The very last second, uh, very last um, uh, moment, uh, we decided to uh, swap decks. Me and Jordan swapped decks. Uh, he was gonna, we were just, the, the regional, it was very late in the season. Most people had their invites. I decided to play something a little more consistent. I decided to play rank four uh, Light Sworn. Um, uh, which Master Row 3, so it was, uh, it was very good, uh, very good indeed, a very strong deck, and I think Norden was still around as well, the deck, deck was so insane back then, um, so uh, I had an £800 uh, Minerva, obviously not mine, um, I would never spend any more, anywhere near that amount of money on a piece of cardboard, I show up, I show up, swap the deck with Jordan, right on my deck list, I make it through round 1, I make it through round 2, I make it through round three, round four, round five. I am XO with a deck I have never played. I am steamrolling these cunts. I am milling wolves. I am summoning Rydens and Omegas. Uh, I'm making Minervas and ending on Dwellers and uh, summoning out Gigabytes with Feral Imps. I am making boards beyond boards. I am shitting on everyone. I am shitting on everyone. Absolutely everyone. Final round. I'm against Jordan. My Achilles heel of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. I have never, ever beaten Jordan in a competitive game of Yu-Gi-Oh. In a competitive tournament, uh, uh, tournament um, sanctioned event, local, regional, YCS, nationals, anything to that, anything official, any sort of official tournament style uh, event. Any sort of official tournament style event, I have never beaten Jordan at a local or anything. Um, I think I've be uh, I beat you once. Yeah, I did. I beat you once with Cosmo, Cosmo Mirror Match, back in like 2015. I have one win, so it's uh, so it's like 40 to one, right? So I'm feeling pretty confident going into this last round. Right? I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, I, I got this one. You know, I uh, attempt number 43. We've got this. We've got this. I can do it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. Okay. So. Jordan gets deck checked. Sneaky Jordan gets deck checked. Quick finger Jordan gets deck checked. Suspicious Jordan gets deck checked. He gets deck checked. Jordan, stop spoiling the fucking uh, story in the chat. Stop writing in that you're spoiling the story. Shut up. So Jordan gets uh, deck checked. He's written his deck list wrong. What a fucking idiot. Can't even write his cards down properly. Can't even fucking write his cards properly. What a donkey. 40 plus 1 is uh, 43. Attempt 42 slash 43. Okay, it's an estimate. So, Jordan can't write his deck list for shit because he's a... Uh, um, uh, he never learned to read and write. So, uh, you know, he had, to, he had to get a scribe to write it for him. Uh, he writes his deck list down incorrectly. Uh, we swapped decks. It was very last minute. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it took a while. Uh, I, thankfully... Uh, I know how to read. Uh, I'm notorious for uh, being very good at reading. Um, I am actually uh, like people in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. They, they they know me as the guy who can read really well. So I didn't have a problem writing my deck list. There was no issue for me. Uh, writing my deck list was not a problem. So he gets a game loss, and I'm thinking to myself at this point, huh, attempt forty three at defeating Jordan in a sanctioned tournament. I can do this. He's got a game loss. I just have to win one game. 
one game, I gotta draw the stones, and he has to just draw the poop, and I can win. I can win my second regional. I think this would have been my first regional at this point, actually. I can win my first regional ever. All I gotta do is win one game with full power light sworn in Master Rule 3 versus DD fucking D. A deck which can't play through a dweller. Right? That's my thinking, okay? That's, that's what's going through my head. I just gotta win one game. One game! I can do it. I can do it! Game 2 starts. Game 2 starts. Jordan goes first, obviously, because he lost the first round, uh, first game, because he's, he's, he's not as good as me. Uh, he loses game 1. Um, it, was a, it was a decisive victory. Uh, it was no contest, no competition, wasn't any issue. I, he lost, right? So he lost game 1, he gets to go first game 2. I don't remember what happened, to tell you the truth. I don't remember what happened. Uh, game 2, whatever, uh, it's fine. Uh, he went first, he won. Is playing DDD combo deck. He makes the thing. He does the he does the, the the shenanigans. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, I lose that game. I'm not I'm not feeling too bad. Okay, it's fine. It's one one, one one. I've still got a game on him. Okay, skillfully skillfully won. I have no problem going into game three. All right. So I'm just thinking to myself, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put these side cards in. D barriers, the whole shebang. Right. What do, what do, what does D what does DD do when you debarry the fusion? They actually can't play. They legitimately can't play if you debarry the fusion. So I debarry I debarry the the fusion game one. I debarry the fusion game one. Uh, I make a board. Wasn't a great board. Wasn't a great board. Nadir didn't draw super well versus Jordan. Weird. Never seemed to draw good against Jordan. Hmm. Strange. It's fine. It's fine. I, I make some like, I think it's like Minerva Pass or some shit, but I've got D-Barrier, so it's like, you know what, it's fine. I can mill next turn, I can draw another card. We got him next turn. We've got him next turn. Next turn. Next turn! We've got him. We've got him next turn. I think I top deck some broken thing, right? I, I top deck some broken thing. And I try to make a play. I try to make a play. Jordan D-Barriers me. Jordan D-Barriers me. I pass to him. Uh, well, I, I attack for like a little damage or something, and then like he, uh, I debarrier him. I debarrier him back. So I've debarried him twice now. Uh, debarrier, debarrier, debarrier. So it's back to me, right? Turn three. I think now I can actually play. All right? So he doesn't debarrier me again. You debarrier me twice, I'm sure. I'm sure you debarriered me twice. So there might be another debarrier, debarrier. Okay, there, there might be another legitimate, like, pass-pass, okay? There, there could actually be, you know, another, a little bit of that again. I don't know. At some point, when I do finally get to play my deck, I try and I do these combos with Minerva, and I think Instant Fusion, um, and I make, I make King of the Fair Lips. King of the Fair Lips. I love that card. You know why King of the Fair Lips is so good? Because it's such a great extender on Light Sworn in Master Rule 3. Yeah, you know, spellcasters, you know, Trick Clown, um, it just is, is you know, Trick Clown and Snow. That's, that's the main, like, guys on the board, right? So you make the, you make the Feral Imps, you summon out the, you summon out the, uh, the, the Gigabyte, it's so good, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's hat tricker for, for a searchable hat tricker, right? It's so, so strong. I make King of the Feral Imps. I make King of the Feral Imps. I detach King of the Feral Imps. I detach the King of the Feral Imps. I pick up my deck. I look through my deck. I do not have a target for King of the Feral Imps. Where's my Jigabyte? Did you steal it, Jordan? Did you take it? Ah! Pot of Desires! Pot of Desires. Hmm. Let's check our banish pile. Oh, there's a Jigabyte. Weird. Uh, check my banish pile. Maybe I should have did that before making the King of the Feral Imps. Perhaps it would have been a slightly smart idea to check your banish pile before trying to search the card in your deck. Hmm. 
Weird. That would have been a good play, right? Let me look for the card in my uh, Banish Pell first before I try and search away King of the Fair Islands. So I think my board at this at this point is like Minerva, King of the Fair Limps, like a snow or some shit. I don't know. It's it's bad. It's bad. So I attack. I bring him to critical. I don't have any deep barriers anymore. No more deep barriers. I could have made a dweller. Could have made the dweller. Could have made a fucking dweller. Could of made a dweller. I made a vanilla reptile. Two, three, attack. Two, three, attack. Pretty big. Pretty big. Bigger than Kepler, right? Right? Bigger than Kepler. Bigger than Swirl Slime. King of the Feral, it's a good beat stick. It's a good beast beat stick. It's a good beat stick. So, Jordan proceeds to top deck his combo pieces. Uh, no longer stuck under D barrier, so he can actually play. Uh, he does DD things, and I, I, I die. I die. All I had to do was win one game, and I couldn't even do that. Got two chances. Two chances to win, and I couldn't even fucking do that. Couldn't even do that. All it had to be was just one game, and I would have won a regional. I got, I got the, I got the regional handed to me on a plate. Here you go. Here you go. Here's the regional. This is the regional. Take the regional. Here, Barfa. Take the regional. Take the regional. I look at the plate. And I think to myself. I like reptiles. <laughs> Throw the plate on the fucking ground. Walk away. I want third place. Third place is good. I want third place. Give me third place. I like third place. I don't want first place. I want third place. Third place is a good position. Three is, a, three is my favorite number. I don't want to be first. I want to lose. I want to lose. I want to make. I want to make a feral. I don't want. I don't want gigabyte. Gigabyte sucks. I just want to make a feral. It's a good card. He's dark. I like it. I like third place. Uh, uh, you've won tons of regionals. Please let me win. Um, I don't know if I can say that. I cannot confirm or deny that. Uh, if you have any further questions as to any statements I have made towards Jordan, I would please like uh, like you to refer to my uh, to my lawyer team. Uh, please contact my email, uh, farfawaijio at gmail.com. Uh, there you will be able to ask and inquire whether or not I may or may not have begged my opponent to give me the win and therefore give me the, the, the regional win. I may or may not have said that please let me win the regional because I really want to re win a regional. I've never won a regional before. You've won lots of regionals. Let me win this regional. I may or may not have said that i probably did not say that uh, i cannot confirm or deny this at this time there needs to be further inquiry and investigation please as i said if you have any further questions please refer to my lawyers thank you and that's the story of how i almost won a regional